Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we've got another part in the Why I Art Journal series and this one's called Working Out Your Frustrations. So this is a sort of page I had in my book that had lots of black on it. Um, I'm adding a lot of red to it, so I'm pretty sure you could probably work out my emotions just looking at this page and the colours I've chosen right now. Um, which again is really powerful when you're art journaling. Um, as most of you know, if you've been following my channel a while, I'm fairly intuitive when I art journal. I don't tend to think about it too much. I just pick up paints and go. Um, on this day, I was particularly frustrated by stuff that had been happening. Um, and I just needed to get it out of my system. And even I was quite surprised in the end by how angry and frustrated this page was but I, it was very cathartic because I felt much better at the end of it so once I'd sort of put all this on the page and it was you know very red and very in your face I then added more so I added some fuchsia over the top with some stenciling just to add a little bit of um, detail I suppose into the background I kind of had a, a figure in mind I knew I was going to do a little bit of uh, magazine collage on this because um, it kind of help me with where I was going and then I decided to write all over the page so um, I'm using my Posca paint pen and yeah you might work out why I'm a bit cross <laughs> so um, yeah some so, someone wasn't being very truthful and um, you know not being very reliable and you know making it all about them and so on which makes it very difficult in the situation I was in so yes it was uh, it was very very cathartic and I was I, I was doing this and it was making me feel better but I was like oh I'm not sure if I can do <laughs> have this on my page so I just kept writing over and over but this is a really good thing about art journaling is you can do this and look I can write all this down and I now I could put another layer of paint over the top or I know I was going to put some collage over it it all gets hidden in the end but my goodness, I felt a lot better after I'd done it because it wasn't sitting in my head anymore bothering me. It was on a page. I dealt with it as much as I could in that moment. Um, I, you know, my art journal doesn't answer back. It doesn't try and justify things. It just takes what I put in it, which is what I needed at that stage. I didn't want anyone to solve the problem because um, I sort of had it under control, but it was just venting, basically. Um, so I found it really, really useful to do that. Once I'd finished doing that, then I could actually spend some time, you know, calming myself down again, basically. So I'm going back in, doing what I usually do with magazine collage and just drawing in detail with my black pens, um, just to sharpen it up a little bit. The white image that I had, you'll see some pink stenciling on it. This is actually an image I used um, when I was teaching my collage class and I was showing people that, particularly on paler clothing, you can add in your own detail by um, stenciling over the top. So I've just used some um, archival ink on that to do the stenciling over the top. So with the lips, I thought I'd go bright red because those lips have been uh, used to tell lots of uh, untruths <laughs> and uh, it looks like he's sort of uh, speaking over the top and, and doing what they need to do so I'm just adding in some a little bit of extra detail but in comparison to a lot of my other um, magazine collages this one's really simple because I really I, I don't end up doing too much to this image um, in the end because I just yeah what I needed to get out was in the background rather than in the foreground. So um, usually with magazine collages though I um, do like to get my snark on a little bit and particularly with this sort of page. So these are the um, Dilutions back chat and the large back chat stickers. Um, and this one says whatever you have to say can wait to your smiter right and I can't read the second one. Basically, you know, keep quiet if you're not sure what you're talking about. 
And finally I decided that I'd actually make it look like the figure was talking. So it kind of made sense about who, who was doing the talking. So I just drew in sort of like a speech bubble and decided to paint that in with white paint. So you've got a little bit of balance with that visual triangle of the white of the speech bubble, the white of the um, clothing and the white of the stickers down the bottom as well. Um, it also worked out well for me because while I had all those words written in the background, I really, you know, I didn't want them to be all that visible in the, in the foreground. You guys see it because you saw the whole process, but, you know, looking through my, my journal now, Yes, I know what's written there, but if someone else was looking at it, I'd have to look really carefully on the page to kind of work it out. But I did think that I'd just have this person going blah, 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 because they, they like to talk a lot and not a lot of what they say makes sense or is useful. <laughs> um, so that was the page. It was very, very quick, but um, um, it was worthwhile to my mental health. So... Not all pages need to be pretty. Um, not all pages need to be, you know, beautiful images and empowering and uplifting. Sometimes they can just be what they are. And that's what this page was. It, it helped me in the moment. It got all my frustrations out. I could see how cross I was just by the colours I chose. And I felt better at the end of it. So um, hopefully... Art journaling can give you those sorts of feelings too. It's great to practice your art practice, but also to help you out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.